Hello, I'm Susan Castriota, and I'm the inventor of the Kachina Safe glass vented lids to use in the microwave. And today I'm going to do a chocolate recipe. It's all about quick and delish. It's quick in the microwave and it's delicious. This is chocolate cashew cranberry orange bark. Now, the, this one I made yesterday, I actually had almonds. So you can substitute any kind of nut, almond, cashew, um, but it's chocolate, nut, cranberry, and orange bark. Doesn't that look great? Uh, and it is so good and it's so easy. So today, this is gonna be my very quick and delish recipe. And then I'll tell you about my glass products, the Kachina Safe Lid and the cover and cook plate cover. So this morning, we're gonna, or today we're gonna do the recipe for the chocolate orange bark. And I'm going to use three cups of, I did a mixture. I did milk chocolate, I did dark chocolate, and I did semi-sweet chocolate. Kind of mixed it all together. And it's really up to you, you know, whether you like the dark chocolate or you like more of a milk chocolate taste. But this is kind of a combination. So this is three cups of morsels. And... I'm going to microwave these for two minutes on medium. And the key is to cook chocolate on medium. So <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. My life? You're still alive. Okay, sorry about that. I thought my phone was turned off. <laughs> so, okay, that's what happens when you do a live show. You never know what's going to happen. All right, so back to the chocolate in the microwave. I'm going to do two minutes on medium, and that's because I don't want to overcook it. Then I'm going to take it out of the microwave, stir it, probably put it back for another minute. But really, it's up to you and your microwave. Kind of get the feel of your microwave when you use the Kachina Safe products. This is the 8-inch lid. I also have the 9-inch lid. These are to cover bowls, bowls, pots and pans, mugs, bowls. These are bowl covers. And I love to use these big uh, glass, um, you know, measuring cups or a big glass bowl. It's all about glass and ceramics in the microwave, no plastics. I'm going to cover with the vented, the vents are right here, Kachina Safe Lid. I'm going to put this in the microwave, two minutes on medium. So here we go, two minutes, and then medium. All right, so I just got recently got a new microwave, so I'm still trying to figure it out at times. All right, so I'm going to talk, uh, while this is in the microwave, I'm going to talk about the products. The Kachina Safe Lids, they come in a set of two. You get the 8-inch and the 9-inch. They're universal. They fit on many sizes of bowls, even pots and pans on the stovetop. You've got three vents here, so you can help to vent your food. See that? Those are the three vents. And they're splatter guards, so it keeps your microwave nice and clean so that food that you're steaming or cooking does not escape the bowl and get all over your microwave. And then I also have the cover and cook. This is Really was rated the number one um, new product when it launched on Amazon. And this product is very difficult for us to keep it in stock because it's so popular. It's a plate cover, and these are all patented. They're all my designs. It's a plate cover, and you flip it over, and it's a two-quart baking dish that you can use in the, in the microwave and the oven up to 425 degrees. And these little, um, this little wave design that I did, that actually is where the steam is going to be released when you're cooking food. Let's see how much time we have left. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next with this wonderful chocolate orange bark is I'm going to take this out, I'm gonna stir it a little bit, put it back in the microwave for another minute on medium. Then when I, when I get that out, I'm gonna add my um, orange rind, a little bit of orange extract, and half of my dried cranberries. Then I'm going to spread it on my baking sheet right here, and I will add the rest of the nuts and 
the cranberries, maybe sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on top, and then it goes into the refrigerator. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so this, these are getting there, but not quite. But just mix them up a little bit, and another minute in that microwave, and these are going to be probably ready, ready to go. All right, so another minute. Medium. All right, let that one go. All right, uh, so let me get my stuff. This is a quarter of a cup of lemon rind. I just had some, I'm not lemon, orange. I had some fresh oranges. And then I have a half of a teaspoon or a quarter, whatever you prefer, of the uh, natural orange extract. This gives it just a nice little tangy flavor in the chocolate. Then I'm gonna add half of, this is a half of a cup of dried cranberry, so I'm gonna add half of this into the chocolate mix. And then, let's see. Then once uh, the chocolate mix is on the baking sheet, I'm going to add the nuts. Like I said, you can do cashews, you can do almonds. These are the honey dried peanuts. Then, if you want, add a little bit of sea salt on the top because you know it's great with chocolate is a little bit of salt. All right, what do we have here? All right, so the vessel is nice and hot, so that actually helps to melt the chocolate a little bit more. There we go. Now this is actually perfect. This is perfect. So just stir it, stir it around. The morsels are going to start to melt, especially when they're in this warm, you know, environment here in a hot bowl. Okay, just keep going there. So you don't want to overcook the chocolate. That's the big secret here. You don't want your chocolate to burn. All right. Of course, it smells amazing. Okay, see that? All right. Let me move my lids. So I'm going to put my orange rind in there. Mix it all up. Ooh, there you go. I'm going to do half of the cranberries, kind of break them up a little bit. There, now it really smells really, really good with the orange. Okay, maybe add a couple more in there. Last, I'm going to do the orange extract. And I do that last because you really don't wanna to add too much liquid to your melted chocolate. because It's not good for that melted chocolate. All right, take a look at that now. Now, I've got some parchment paper on my baking sheet. And now I'm just going to spread it on here. This is, this is what's fun about like a Valentine's weekend, which is this weekend. You wanna do a little chocolate to have out or you know, maybe to take over, you know, to leave at somebody's house as a little gift. Chocolate is always so much part of Valentine's, but I'll tell you what, in my life, it's part of everything. <laughs> because I love chocolate. All right. Okay. Normally I would not let any of that go to waste, but because we're on a live show, I want to get this spread out as soon as possible before it starts to get harder. And I want to make sure I've got, I can add the peanuts. Mmm, how about that? I got some chocolate on me. Mmm, okay. I'm really surprised my dogs, Bella and Wilson, have not smelled this chocolate. I know they're not allowed to have it, but it never stops them from coming here and hoping something lands on the floor. All right, so I've got my, um, my rest of my cranberries, which was a half of a cup, so now we're down to a quarter of a cup. Just kind of spreading these on the top. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Got one extra one over here. Now I've got my nuts, like I said. On my recipes, which are on kuchinasafe.com, uh, you can download this recipe. The recipe actually says chocolate cashew cranberry orange bark. But today, I just decided 
I would do the peanuts. And really, it just depends on, sometimes it just depends on what I have, you know, in my, my pantry. Oh, this is looking very, very good right now. Oh, yeah. This is super good. I never, I never have a problem getting rid of these chocolate recipes that I make because there's always neighbors or family or somebody that is more than happy to, uh, to take some of my recipes I make on the live show. All right, so there, that's that, if you can see that. Now, I just, this, is, this is just an extra. I just take a little bit of sea salt, just sprinkle it on the top. There we go. And guess what? This is it. Talk about quick and delish. This is a quick and delish recipe by Susan. The recipes are on kachinasafe.com under recipes. I have a cookbook with over 85 recipes. So when you purchase my products, the Kachina Safe Lid or the Cover and Cook Plate Cover, you could go on and look at the recipes for all kinds of grains and vegetables and chocolate and desserts and so forth. Lots of things that you can make in the microwave by steaming, and that's what the Kachina Safe products are all about. They are steamers. So this is going to go into the refrigerator, and in a couple of hours, it's gonna kind of look like this, even though I changed it from, um, I did the almonds in this one, but take a look at that. This, look at that, nice, it is so good. Mm, can't wait for that one. Now, I, I'm gonna talk about the cover and cook again. I invented this because so many people, they love the lids because you cover bowls with lids and they said, well, what about covering plates? So I invented the covering cook and this is a number one product on Amazon. As soon as we get them in, they're usually sold out right away. Um, so this is a plate cover, you flip it over and it's a baking dish. You can use it in the microwave or you can use it as a baking dish in the oven. I do my pies, my quiche using the cover and cook. And I just want to show you, I love to do potatoes. I do sweet potatoes for my dogs, but I like to do like um, just a regular uh, russet potato. And I fit three potatoes on a plate. I pierce them and then I put them into the microwave, cover with the, uh, the cover and cook, and I cook them for 10 minutes. And the moisture from the potatoes actually makes the steam on the inside. So that helps to cook your potatoes, you know, like more efficiently and healthier because you get to retain all those vitamins, the folic acids, the nutrients, all these things that are in vegetables. You get to keep a lot of those in there when you use the cover and cook or the Kachina Safe Lid. So now I also want to talk about my oven mitts. I invented these oven mitts because I just was so tired of using either a towel in the microwave to try to get my bowls out or those big um, bulky oven mitts. So these are mini mitts. These, uh, once again, these are my patented products. You would get a, it's a three piece set. You get the uh, set of mini mitts. The top part's a little bit larger than the bottom. It's a uh, specially designed neoprene on the back. So it's like a slipper for your hands. These are great for getting things out of the oven, getting things out of the microwave. This is just your finger and a little bit of palm coverage, but nothing else. But they're also great for um, opening jars <laughs> if you want to do that. So you're going to get this and a little um, pot holder and they fit right in there. You can put them, you know, on one of those magnet hooks on your refrigerator. They come in the three colors. They come in the black and white polka dot. They come in the turquoise and white polka dot. And Valentine's Day weekend, the red and white polka dot. So it's really a great little addition to your um, Kachina Safe products. If you buy the products, make sure you take a look at the oven mini mitts. And I'm just going to go over my lids one more time. What you would be getting on Amazon. I have an eight inch lid by itself. So if you're just, you know, you want to try the product out 
or you just want to send it as a gift for somebody, there is an 8 inch lid that is sold by itself. Then you can buy the set, the 8 inch and the 9 inch, and these cover bowls, pretty good sized bowl actually. So they're universal, you can put them on top of a small vessel, you can put them on top of a mug or a small um, glass if maybe you're reheating something in the microwave, you don't want it to splatter all over the place. You're going to get two in one package, the 8 inch and the 9 inch. The other nice thing about the, the Kachina Safe um, lids is these are great for cooking popcorn. They're so great for cooking popcorn, you don't have to use those bags that are um, loaded with chemicals when you're doing popcorn. You put your popcorn in one of the, um, you know, the large two quart bowls like I just used to make the chocolate. You put your half a cup of kernels in there, the little cooking oil on the bottom. You cover with the Kachina safe, safe Lid, put it in the microwave for four minutes, and you have perfect popcorn with no chemicals. And at that point, that's when you can add whatever you want. You can add your butter or your cheeses or whatever, or just have it plain as a really nice, healthy, low-fat snack. Well, thank you so much for joining me for my recipe of chocolate cashew cranberry orange bark. Wait, let me show you once again. Here it is. And go on to kachinastate.com and check out my recipes because this one is actually on there under the dessert category in my Quick and Delish cookbook. Make sure you check it out and get yourself some chocolate bark. Make it yourself and make everybody around you happy. Thanks again and have a great day.